tonight, what I wanted to show you was one of the looks that Sam McKnight did for Ryan Lowe at London Fashion Week Autumn Winter 2019. So the idea of this look is to pull the hair back in a ponytail that's really low at the base and we want the ponytail to be expensive and have a beautiful soft wave through it. Then we're going to connect the top piece in separately to that ponytail and that's going to allow us to create this really big deep wave and there's a little bit of backcombing in there just to kind of give us the kick and the lift at the front. So to be able to get that S, there is a set of technique that I need to show you. And that's why on the top, I've gone in with these yellow rods. A yellow rod? What on earth is he doing with a rod? Well, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop and just talk you through that in a second. So how did I prepare this here? Really, really simply. What I did, was I went through the hairline, to go, I took a low side parting and I went through the hairline using Wendell and Moody Fortifying Spray which has got hold, heat protection and grip but it's also very pliable and malleable. It's a very good product if you want instant volume into the hair and I went in with that on dry hair. I dried it with the parting with a bit of left over to the side. Now on each section, it's really important that you seal in the movement. And you can see I'm doing side-by-side -side sections and I'm using a fabulous light hairspray which is actually called Light Satin. And if you look at the way that I'm spraying it, very important. Because if you don't use the spray properly, you won't get the same grip. What you want is the, the bulb part of the spray to hit the hair, not the wet part of the spray to hit the, hit the hair. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because last time we did the gorgeous Mika's hair, we did something much different. It was going up in the, in the sky and we used the hairspray really close because that was a different finish. So this time we're using the hairspray normally and it just gives us this fabulous grip and hold. And I'm securing it with a pin. The difference with the white rods is just they just give a much softer finish uh, but the, the heat will penetrate all the way through the middle ends and ends allowing us to brush that tail out and give a much more luxurious ponytail. So let's see it unwound. So here we are with the brush out. This is where the intricacy hits the shape. So like I said to you, it's all about the detail. It's all about snaking a little piece of, um, of hair that goes into the second ponytail. So first of all, just take a look at what this hair looks like brushed out with the Mason Pearson brush and the Carmen rollers. Hello, Mika. So the section on the top goes from the temple right to the crown. And it's a little, it's a kind of a, a, a V with a little bit of a swoop in the V. It goes back to the crown. Okay, so I'm gonna go back afterwards and I'm gonna give it the bend like that. And I'm gonna just brush and secure all those lovely curls back into a ponytail low in the neck. And I'm 
going to start. Now I'm going to work from here back. So this is my first port of call. Now the back combing is more, less, 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 none. More, less, 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 none. Because we want this to be the highest point. The wave's already in there. So I'm going to use Windle and Moody matte spray. And it's just fabulous for this job. Here you can see that the label's actually orange. And what it is, is a dry product. Fabulous for guts. I'll just give that some lift. And I'm just going to go in. Okay, so again. Okay, so now we want to start sculpting that. Thank you. Now with the French brush, which is absolutely perfect for this, you can already see what's going to happen. So I'm now going to take the whole piece, just give it a little brush out. And you're probably thinking, why did you do all that back combing? Well, because back combing just allows us to secure the shape. just want to get that high.
So here we are with the finished piece and you can see that lift that I spoke about in the very beginning and how important it is to get the discipline with the Carmen rollers up in that top part. And the lift is exactly what I wanted. You could even go higher. So if I just gently rotate Nick around, you'll see that you've got the ponytail attached in. The ponytail's gorgeous. It's full of life, it's full of texture, and you can just see that little piece that I've taken from the back, the tail of the, of the look, just disappears neatly in and disappears. See? And if we rotate our back around again, you'll see the, the detail up here and actually the profile that we've got. So it does follow the head shape, you know, it's following that shape and that's really important. We use our own little accessory here just to sort of fasten that down. And when you come all the way around, you can just see, if you just move, look at your head towards there, you see that texture. And the pony can just be, it could even just be dressed up a bit more if, if that was the kind of affair. Bye.